Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Thursday. I am so mixed up this week because, you know, the holiday week and stuff. I usually put up a Timu haul on Mondays, but I just did not get to it because, you know, things happen here. But I got a, just a big bunch of different things. I've been trying out a lot of different stuff just to see how everything works um, and how, you know, nice everything is. So far, I'm not disappointed. So let me show you what I got in this haul here. I'm going to show you this one first because I have some water here that I want to get out of my way before I knock it over by mistake. But these are little compressed little towelettes. Um, they're really cool. I wish I had these when my kids were little because, man, what a game changer that would have been. Throw a bunch of these little guys in your purse. When we get in here, we get 20 for $1.79. And this is what they look like when they come out. It's just this little, looks like a big pill of some sort. Um, it feels like paper. And then you just need a little bit of water. So if you even have like a little spray bottle with you if you're out and about, or just a water bottle you could dump on it. I just brought in this little cup here. I'm just going to dunk it in here real quick. And uh, it's done already. That's it. You just need to get that wet. Hang on, I'm squeezing it out here into my cup so I don't get it all over the place. There we go. Now let me get that cup out of my way before I dump it, because I always do that. And then you have this nice little, and they're really strong too. Um, this nice little wet towelette to clean up whatever little messes you have. Great for kids. I mean, you know, when you wipe them faces off and stuff, if you're out like at the fairs and carnivals or something, and you, you get all a mess. I actually think this opens up more. Oh, it does. This actually opens up very big. And they're strong. They're not like a real wimpy kind of thing or anything. They're a nice, strong, like, little towelette. And then you can, you know, clean off your hands, whatever you need to do. And there you go. But how easy is that just to throw a few of these little things in your purse? So I really like that idea. So I'm going to actually put a couple of those in my purse because you just never know. Let me set this little guy over here. I can use this thing here now to clean up some messes in here. Yeah, they're really strong. I don't know what they're made of, but they're really, really strong. So that's that. That was something different I wanted to pick up. Now this I liked. This idea here. I was trying to get these out of the paper here beforehand, but I did not. I got this measuring tape. It's a 60 inch measuring tape for $1.26. And what I loved about this measuring tape is it has a snap left you roll it up. I have a measuring tape that I keep in by my desk. Um, it does not have a snap. <laughs> and I couldn't tell you how many times I've had to roll that up. So there's your nice measuring tape. You get 60 in inches of measuring tape and then you just roll it up and snap it and there you go. It's not gonna... I'm not gonna have to spend five minutes sitting there wrapping one up. But I thought that was pretty great. I always link the um, items underneath the video. I'll put the link to all these items if anybody's interested in checking them out or whatever. And if they don't see it, like I just, you know, people are new here that aren't always watching. If you don't see the item in my description, that means they're sold out. So, and then I can't get to them. I can't even pull up the picture to, you know, show you the link of what it looked like. But, um, yeah. So then I picked up these. I thought these are really cool too. Let me get these out of here. These are perfect for me here in my craft room. Uh, come on. There's one. You know, I had everything open nicely so I could grab it, and now it doesn't want to. Look at these little itty bitty Phillips head and flathead screwdrivers. I mean, how perfect is that? I can toss these right here in my desk drawer, and um, yeah. They're really nice. They're a nice, you know, solid piece here. They don't feel like they're going to break apart anytime soon. But yeah, for like those little things, you get a Dollar Tree. You always got to put batteries and things in. How perfect are these little guys? So yeah, I thought that was a great idea. So I got a set of those. Did I say what they were? $1.28 for the set. So not bad. And then I picked myself up an extra little tape dispenser here. Just because I like this one, it's smaller, um, it comes with tape. You can actually, they have options, all different colors. 
Um, and, you know, you can get them with like, I don't know, I forget what it was, like six rolls of tape? I forget how much that was. But this was $2.98. It um, has your little sticky things here on the bottom too if you want to stick it down. They're kind of light though. That's the only thing I was a little disappointed is, you know, you're really going to have to hold on to it too. Unless, I mean, you're putting it permanently, and I don't want to do that. Maybe you could open it up and put something in there. I don't know, but they're kind of lightweight. But this is a perfect size here for on my desk here. It'll take up much room, and I can stick it over here in the corner. Um, and then I did pick up a few more of these little measuring tape. I measure stuff all the time, so these are just, these were 98 cents for three. I don't know how long these are. It doesn't say on here. But only 98 cents. And I got it become in three different colors. Let me see how long they are. I don't know. I don't know. These are pretty long too. We have to roll them back up. <laughs> but I like to have these. These are also 60 inches. But I don't even roll these back up. I just kind of put these in a little in my sewing stuff or just around the house because uh, like I said I'm constantly, constantly trying to measure things. Let me put that one over there. <clears throat> now I picked up a couple of die cuts. Um, the metal dies. This you get a lot, a lot, a lot of different sizes of like banners and ovals and things to cut out. You know, you want to put like little words in there, messages, whatever, or just, you know, a decoration. These are great. I, I don't know how many are in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for some reason I did not write the price on here. Ugh, but I'll put it, like I said, underneath here. And I know it wasn't more than a couple dollars because I don't usually spend more than two, I don't spend over three dollars on these cutting dies. But they work great and you guys that use these, you know, in your big shot and stuff, cutting machines, die cutting machines, you know how expensive they are if you're like at a craft store looking at them. And now this is three different sizes of little fences. I love doing these, especially like around Christmas time and Easter. I have do have one fence, but it's a little bit bigger than these, I think, or maybe it's t just taller. And um, it's so cute, and you cut out some little grass and stuff and flowers to put around them on cards. But this has three different size fences for dollar ninety nine. <clears throat> <Not, clears throat> my throat doesn't want to clear. I don't know what's going on there. And then this one makes a cute little snowman. This was a dollar forty nine. Well, look at that. You cut him out, and you cut out his little hat and some black paper and there's his scarf there and his buttons his little arms you got the whole thing right there that'll be so cute on a card or whatever but yeah dollar 49 i'm trying to read my writing dollar 49 there you go now these i thought were really really cute these are two dollars and 24 cents and you get what do we get here i don't know i guess we're gonna have to cut it open and find out aren't we 224. That's what these are. But look how stinking cute these little gingerbread men are. It's got a little hook on there. You could make earrings out of these. You could, you know, hang them like on a bookmark. Um, just all kinds of stuff. Hang it on a package with some ribbons or something. But yeah, it, let's see. I don't know how many I've got in here because it doesn't say. These are the light colored ones. They have a couple different colors too. So we get two, four, six, eight, ten of them. And there's my dog barking like an idiot. But yeah, aren't they cute? He's so, let me get him up there because he's little. So cute. Now I've got to put him in a different bag because I cut the bag open. Get in there. Well, I can get him back in there. I will just, oh, my other tape's not open yet, but I have my other tape dispenser over here. So we're just gonna tape that. Whoops, there's another little guy. Gonna tape that shut until I'm ready to use them. But I thought those were really cute. I think that's all that stuff. The other stuff I have here is kind of big. I got a blanket and it did not disappoint whatsoever. This blanket was $12.98 and this is this really pretty fall pumpkin blanket. And look how nice and fuzzy this thing is. I mean, it's not a heavy blanket, but for fall, this is perfect. And it's a nice, say the size on here. Mm, of course not. Oh, yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. 130 by 150. That's probably centimeters. It doesn't have the inches. But it's a nice size, you know, to have on your couch just to snuggle up in. 
and it's got, I wish I had more room here. The Pretty Pumpkins, there we go. And I can't, I'm holding it up and then I can't see if you can see it. And the leaves, I just love the colors of these. They're very, very pretty. Yeah, and it's got that nice fuzzy inside. I wanna wash it and see if it this puffs up. Sometimes it does, it gets much more puffier once you give it a good wash. So, yeah, it doesn't have the size, but it will. Um, I'll put it in the link down there and it'll tell you what the size was. I am not good with centimeters at all. <laughs> and then this blanket here I bought. This is a baby blanket for my new great grandbaby that's coming in February. You guys that watch my daughter's channel know she's having a little girl. I, just, I was shocked at how big this one was. And this one is super, super fuzzy. This is a nice crib blanket. I was thinking, eh, that's probably be cute for like in the um, car seat and stuff. And it's like a tie-dyed, so it has like different colors, like cream colors, white, pink, and they have them for boys and girls. And they're just so soft and snuggly. I love this. So maybe not when it's a teeny weeny baby, but you know, once it gets a little bigger in the crib or whatever. Hang on, I'm folding this up here. But yeah, how nice is that? I just wasn't expecting it to be quite that big, even though I didn't know what size it was at the time. <coughs> I don't know what's in my throat. Yeah, that was 948. So there you go with that. Now I have some other big stuff here. Well, first I'll show you this one shirt that I got. I bought this shirt a while ago in purple, and I absolutely love it. And so I went back and I got another one in pink. I had so many compliments on this shirt. It's just so so pretty. You know, we got the dinner stuff. We'll just throw this on. But look how pretty. Let me get this up here the right way. It doesn't look so pretty hanging. <laughs> All right. <coughs> I don't know what is it making me cough. It's just so dry. We've had the air on. It's been so hot. But anyway, it has this nice little V-neck. It's kind of hard to tell the way I'm holding it. I wish I could get up here and show you better, but I just can't do it right now. Um, so there it has a nice little V-neck, and it has this really, really pretty, pretty pattern. And I love it. And the back is done real nice, too. I love these shirts. They are so comfortable. Yeah, there's the back. And then it comes down on the sleeve. It's a nice short sleeve. They're starting to come out with a lot of these same patterns with the longer sleeves, too. But I wear short sleeves all year long. I'm always hot. So, yeah. So I have the purple one. Now I have the pink one. So that one's got to get washed. I always throw these in the wash before I wear them. Actually, I'm going to put it back in the bag now because i got to go link all these and I'll forget what I did. Yeah, this was $8.08. .08. You can't beat that for a really pretty, pretty shirt. All right, that goes up there. Now, I bought this jacket. This is going to be really hard for me to show you guys. I really, really wish I had more room here. <clears throat> or could stand up and walk around this room here without tipsy and over. Where's the opening? Here it is. Sorry about the noise. I know some of you guys don't mind the crinkling noise at all, but you would not believe how many people have literally told me off about the annoying crinkle sound. So that's why I always do mention and apologize because some people just can't stand it. But I picked up this jacket and I don't like a heavy jacket in the winter, so I thought this would be perfect. It has a little hood on it here. With, I'll hold it up a little bit better here. A little trim around the hood, it's just a little hood here. And then it buttons closed. Here's the buttons, pretty buttons. It's on it. And then these are uh, just decorated sides here. I don't think, yeah, it does have the pockets. Yeah, there's pockets. What was I thinking? But yeah, and that has this like pretty design print on here on the pockets. And I know you really can't even see what this looks like, but let me try to straighten it out here a little bit. Yeah, it's hard for me to show this kind of stuff right now. There we go. So let's hold this up this away. And yeah, that's what it looks like pretty much from the front there. And it's not very heavy. Um, it's just the hood up here. And then you have your button down front and it has that pretty design all the way down the front. And it's not a heavy, heavy jacket whatsoever. But, and it has buttons down there on the sides, little accents. It's just very pretty. But this material I love because it's just, it's not, you know, 
really warm on the inside. It's, you know, it's just enough for like fall. I'll wear it probably all winter because I usually just wear a sweater when I run to the store. So I figure I'm just getting out of the car, from the car to the store. It doesn't take that long to get inside. Um, yeah, really wish I could hold this up better. But you guys will see it. I'll put the link down below. You can click on it. It looks much lovelier <laughs> on the models in the pictures. So if you want to see those. But yeah, the pockets are real pretty. The button sides there. And I love the pattern. It has like a cable knit pattern look to it. So yeah, just the right amount of coat for me for the winter. That's for sure. All right, put you up there. I'm just piling it up over here. And then I bought my husband this hat, and he really likes it. I had him try it on. Um, there we go. This was $5.39. Now, he works out in the cold in the wintertime. Um, I mean, he's not out long, but still, it's cold in the wintertime. So I got him this nice hat here, and these sides come down, so when you slide this hat on, it goes right down over your ears and it fit him really well. I was very happy. And then the inside, look at the inside. How warm would that be? But yeah, these little tabs here, you just pull the hat on that way and it just, you know, goes right up over your forehead and right covers them ears right up. So I might order him another one of these too because it's just a really nice hat. And I was real happy to fit that it fit him pretty well. So. All right, that, would I say five, no, yes, five dollars and thirty-nine cents, but yeah, it's called, D, I don't know, DZR Log is the name of those. <clears throat> Still, something in my throat, this is annoying, haven't had anything my, stuck in my throat or dry all day until I started talking on here. All right, one more thing that's going to be hard for me to show you again here, and this is another cardigan that I bought, because I love those in the wintertime too, because that's all I wear. But this one's real pretty. I love grays because they go with anything. It doesn't matter what kind of shirt you have on. You can just grab this and go. And I love these lightweight ones, especially to go to the grocery store. And um, hang on, let me get this kind of nice looking here. There we go. Just to, you know, run out or do whatever you got to do. Run to the mailbox, whatever. And these have pockets too. Um, and it's a nice long one. It goes down over your butt. Because I did get some from there that were real really short. Oh, hang on one second here. Okay, that was my grandson. He's on his way home from work, so I figured I'd better answer the phone. You never know, but it was, you know, just wanted to tell me something. Um, but it, that's the great thing about having this watch, because I can't carry my phone. I never have pockets either. I'm always in my, like, sweats or shorts, some, whatever. Anywho, <laughs> that's what's great about having this watch. I can actually answer it on my watch as long as I'm in range of my phone. But anyway, now back to this. I was sitting here messing with it while I was talking to him and I messed it all up. But this is a real nice cardigan that you can see. And they're very well made too. And I love that this one has pockets. This is the only one that I have now that actually has those nice deep pockets and that it's nice and long that goes down over your tushy. But it's hard to see. Um, like I said, I'll link it down below. But I wanted to get this haul out of the way so I could get this stuff all washed up because I always wash everything when we get it. Um, well, actually, my husband's going to be washing it because I can't get downstairs yet to the washing machine. <laughs> but he's doing a bang-up job, man. Let me tell you, he's doing a great job doing all that stuff. He's a trooper, man. All right, well, I'm going to let you guys go here. That's it for this haul. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow for our Friday Dollar Tree haul and our visit from Little P. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, does he have a name? I'm like, oh, well, yeah, his name is Sweet Pea. We just call him Little Pea for short. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you tomorrow, and you guys all have a great day.